will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. Um. <laughs> Just this morning, if you know, you know, you, know, you, you know what happened to her nephew? Died. Yeah. Her nephew died in a... Passed uh, away. What's that? Uh, accident? Mobile? Early morning. Okay. See how, <clears throat> how fast life is, how quick, how quick, uh, how quick life is. Japan. Uh, Japan. Uh, how, how quick yes. life is. And uh, when I was in, in the Philippines, there was a famous 18-year-old actor, celebrity. And he was, he, was very, very, he was a very, very good guy. He goes to Mass every Sunday. His face is very, very angelic. And he goes to the parish where uh, we say Mass in Santo Domingo Church. And then on his way home, he also died, just 18 years old. And uh, he had the whole future ahead of him. You know what touched me most is that he had the letter for his future girlfriend. During that time, he didn't have a girlfriend <laughs> yet. <laughs> but uh, he wrote a letter for his future girlfriend. <laughs> and then he said in the letter, um, I don't want you to change for who I am. I just want you to be who you are. Wow. I'm not looking for Miss Perfect. I'm looking for Miss Right. Something like that. And very touching. But not even 20 years old, gone already. So I really don't know why these things happen. That is why Advent is a very, very good kind of preparation. See, Advent is a good kind of preparation. Not just preparing ourselves materially, for the future, studying well, these are all good. But other than that, it's the spiritual preparation. Um, just to inform you, Advent came from Advenio, <coughs> Latin, meaning to come. Okay? And that implies, that means three things. It means three comings. What do you think are those three comings? <coughs> Advent, Advenio, to come, means Three coming, uh, means coming, okay? But in, in our church, it means three comings. What are those three comings, do you think? Tatang, yeah, tatang. Three comings. Christ. The angel, the shepherd, the Christ. Uh -huh. Christ. The angel, the shepherd, the Christ. Yeah, that's the first coming. Okay. Christ being born on earth. That's Christmas. What else? Three comings. The Holy Spirit. Pentecost. And well, that's the Holy Spirit. Christ coming. Three. That's the first. <clears throat> Christmas, coming the coming of Christ. Coming back from the dead. Yeah, the second coming of Christ is the second. And the third, I think, the end of the The coming of Christ in our lives. Oh. <laughs> The coming of Christ as a human being, Christmas, the coming of Christ, the second coming of Christ, and the coming of Christ in our life. You see, adventures, adventures. Okay. Um, we are young well, I mean, you then, we are young people. <laughs> you then, we. we are young people. And we are adventurous. <laughs> I want to do a lot of things. When I first came here in Dibiara, Father Adrian said to me, Nilo, in the Philippines, you're used to do many things. You might get culture shocked here because, because here, I'll just study Bahasa Indonesia, say Mass, and then for the Golden School. You might be culture shocked because, you know, from doing many things, to doing a few things. And I said, you know when I came here, 
it is a kind of saving grace also. It's good I came here. Because in the Philippines where I came from, the work is very, very, very many. It was so many, I had few times to pray. Even if I prayed, it was not focused. Because you always do many things. You're just praying, you're supposed to pray the rosary. What are you thinking next? Hey, Mary, full of grace around this with you. Oh, I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Mary, Mother. Oh, another homily tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot focus, okay? And I missed my brothers in the convent. In the convent, we are just six. Six priests. Okay? Because it's the headquarters of the Dominicans. I missed them because I was always out. My life was too adventurous, too fast, too fast. And uh, my brothers here, Brother Andre, Brother Adrian, they're, they're doing a lot of things. Huh? And they're very, very good, very, very effective. But I saw myself in them also, doing many things. But sometimes, I don't know, of course, I'm not to judge their spiritual life, but sometimes, maybe, they forget you know, quality, prayer time, because it's easy to pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, blessed are you, among women, blessed is the Lord. <laughs> easy to do that, but how is the quality? It isn't the quantity of prayer, but the quality of prayer life. And sometimes when we're going too fast, when we are too adventurous, when we are way ahead of our schedule, have you come to this point? Many of us seem we want done we want things done yesterday. We want things done tomorrow. A thing is given to us today, but we want it done yesterday. Is that possible? It's not possible. We cannot complete things yesterday because we, we face them today. Are we that fast? Because if our lives are so fast. We're bound to have an accident, <laughs> a spiritual accident. We may be working at church, we may be active in the group, but sometimes it's by the also, also, empty. Also, 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 empty. Nil. That's why my name is Nil. Nilu, not nothing. Nil. Also, no. Nilus in Latin means nothing. I'm nothing. <laughs> Nilus, yeah, in Latin. Nilus, Nilo, Nilus, nothing. <laughs> if we're going too fast, now I don't know, you have to examine yourselves. Sometimes if we are going too fast, we miss the important things in life. Quality play. Family life. I met a lot of families, and I told this to you before, I met a lot of families, you know, very rich, very, very so many, and many things to do, very active, even in church, but empty of soul. Are you also empty? That's why when Mrs. Jane, Mrs. Mrs. Jane, uh, Ibu Jane, talked about attachment, maybe it's really, this is related to that. When we're going too fast, maybe it's related to attachment. Because attachment can be positive and negative. For instance, I'm attached, in a good sense, in my priesthood. Because I cannot be anything else. I cannot be a sister. <laughs> I must be attached as a priest. That's a good attachment. You are attached to your work, to your study, to your hobbies, and these are all good, that's good attachment. But sometimes attachment can be harmful because sometimes I love it more than anything else. You know, for those of you who are Chinese, your ancestors, which I studied, Hong Zhe, Meng Zhe, Xiong Zhe, Lao Zhe, the Eastern philosophers, Confucius, Mencius, Lao, uh, Lao Tzu, okay? Taoism, founder of Taoism, Lao Tzu, etc. What do they always say? Everything in moderation. 
Take everything in moderation. If you pray a whole day to God, huh? whole day in church, oh, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace. If you do that, it's tiring. It's exhausting. Is that bad? For you, yes, because you will get tired. <laughs> For us Dominicans, we are required 30 minutes of meditation. Can you meditate? I meditate. <laughs> I meditate in my sleep. No? But we are required to, to do that, yeah? Because sometimes when we are going so fast, we, we find it hard to, to pause, to stop. Even your cell phones must be recharged. <laughs> Give it a rest, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and the important thing in the spiritual life is for you to be recharged. Ask yourselves, are you tired? Of course, work-wise, you are tired because physically we get tired. But are you, can you say, I'm tired of my family? I don't want to see them anymore. <laughs> They love each other. See, when I was in no, when, 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 when I newly wore this, we called them novices, and we were 14 months in the province in the Philippines. No TV, no radio, no letters, no emails. Just pray and work, and discover the Dominican life. No? That was very, very difficult. 14 months. You cannot go home. You cannot have any newspaper, you cannot watch TV or movie or DVD, even pirated. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, you just pray. It was very, very difficult. And I came to that point where, you know, we were 20 novices, and for 14 months, you are with the same brothers. You want to vomit when you see them? <laughs> because you don't, you know, you already know them through and through. You know their, you, you know their, you know their action, you know their smell, <laughs> and it's very difficult. At 6 p.m., we're in our rooms, yeah, in our rooms. We open the windows and we open the doors at 6 p.m. so that we can read the Bible. And when you open your door.